guys, welcome back to the DC Show. This is T. McNeil. Today is Sunday, and guys, let's actually talk some more Nike Air Jordan news. Now, I want to make a side note, guys. Um, what I have right now is the Air Jordan 3 Wool Editions. All right, guys. Now, these are not brand new shoes. They were actually released, I believe, uh, back in December of 2016. Okay. Um, on that on that side note that I just mentioned, um, I did have a subscriber that wanted me to actually do a review for you guys on these particular shoes. Um, I do know, again, like I said, that they are um, not new shoes. They were released, like I said, roughly about three years ago. But um, he wanted me to go over the shoes with you guys, you know, like I always do, talk about the ins and outs, talk about the price point, and also talk about the materials as well. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, keep in mind, guys, that because it's released three years ago, I'm pretty sure that the price point of these shoes have changed, hopefully. But knowing Nike Air Jordan, that's probably not going to be the case. Uh, these shoes are just like a um, luxury car. They hold their value pretty well, okay? So, there's really no shade to be thrown on that topic, all right, guys? But, without further ado, right before we get into the actual um, review of the shoe, you know how I do guys let's actually go ahead on and get into a little bit of information on these shoes now obviously this is for the people that haven't seen these shoes before or if you wanted to uh, get some information on the shoes and you were interested but you were like kind of on the fence about it you were unsure about what you were actually getting let's go over that right now so it does say guys that the Air Jordan 3 Wool takes the iconic 1988 silhouette to task in a new lifestyle aesthetic by ditching any traces of leather, traditionalism, and elephant print for a microchromatic or monochromatic dark gray wool upper perfect for the winter season. Furthermore, Jumpman branding on the tongue and heel matches to the point of almost being non-existent while an off-white sail, midsole, and outsole unit adds a simple, refined finish to the casual colorway. Lastly, what did you think of the Air Jordan 3 wool? All right, guys, that's the gist of information. As I stated, very short article. Um, it's not a lot of information to go over. Um, as far as the price point now, uh, as of December 17th of 2016, they did retail for $200 and um, they were available on nike.com now this is now 2019 in the spring if you guys are interested in these shoes you still can check nike.com uh, check your local sneakers uh, um, local retailers like uh, Foot Locker, Foot Action, DTLR, Downtown Locker Room, Finish Line, Kicks USA, wherever you get House of Hoops, wherever you get your shoes from if you are interested now again guys they are wool uh, we're going into the summer I would not recommend buying these shoes right now. Um, again, if you are interested, you can wait probably in the fall once the weather changes back, and then these shoes would be more appropriate for the season. Otherwise, they're gonna be wet from sweat. I know you don't want that, all right? So now, let's go ahead and actually get into a really quick review of the actual shoe. Now, starting with the toe box area, guys, and around the entire premise of this shoe is that beautiful wool material. Now here's the deal guys, when I first looked at these shoes, you know I said I'm not really sure how I feel about them uh, and I say that because I'm talking about like the overall style of the shoe, okay? Now the thing is, even though they are wool um, from an aesthetic appearance, it does look like a great shoe, okay? And you guys can see them right there up close and personal for yourself. Um, the actual sole of the shoe it's not really like a uh, bright white guys. This is more like, um, I would say like an eggshell white or an off white. It's more in that color scheme, even though it does look like a bright white. It's not, okay. Um, but going back to the toe box area guys, there is some individual stitching right there. You really can't see it because of the wool and really the color of the wool kind of hides the stitching. Um, the eyelids right here guys where the shoe strings go is also in that um, dark gray material and in that color as well okay so everything pretty much blends in for the most part for these particular shoes um, and then if we go guys to the tongue portion of the shoe I don't know if you guys see that but there actually is um, a Jumpman logo there now the Jumpman logo is not faded it's like I said it's that same dark gray material and it blends in with the entire shoe 
So it's really kind of hard to see. What I kind of wish Nike had done with this shoe, just because of the shade of gray that this wool material is in, maybe this Jumpman should have been maybe white, okay? So what do you guys think about that, just to kind of match the white um, outsole of the shoe? I think that would have been aesthetically more appealing than them just using the same dark gray tone for the symbols of, of Air Jordan, okay? So that would have broken up a lot. Um, as far as the shoestrings, I mean the shoestrings also guys, as you can see, is great. I mean, if you want to swap them out, you can. Uh, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It kind of blends in with the shoe. But if you want to get a little creative, you could put white shoestrings in here again to kind of match, or an off-white shoestring to kind of match the sole. Or you can even throw in a black shoestring. Like I said, if you want to cut up some of that gray, okay? It's a great shade of gray. I mean, it's you know one of my favorite shades, and um, you know it is what it is, guys. Now again, there's some more individual stitching that goes around. Uh, the outer portion of the shoe as well and it follows all the way around to the back of the shoe and clean on the other side okay now there's another Jumpman air symbol right there I don't know if you guys can actually see that again it blends in just like it did on the front of the tongue of the shoe as well okay so I, like I said I wish they had kind of you know broken it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more appealing and make it pop just a little bit more because again Keeping it the same color as the shoe, it's really hard to see that, all right? So, other than that, guys, I mean, it's not really a lot of stunning detail on the shoe. I mean, it's pretty much just your basic gray wool type of shoe. Now, if we go into the, the inner portion of the shoe, um, they do say it's for winter, but the shoe is really not that warm, believe it or not. I mean, again, I still wouldn't recommend wearing them in the summertime, but I'm just saying it's not as warm as you think it is. I mean, the materials on the inner portion is like the soft foam padded material that you find in 90% of joints that's on the market anyway. So the only portion that is on the warmer side would be the outer material, which is which is the wool. Okay. And like I said, other than that, the inner portion is all grayed out. Again, just like the outer portion of the shoe. And just like I had a kind of a gripe with the Nike S symbol being the same color, um, they seem to have done the same thing on the inner portion of the shoe as well. Like I said, it's all grayed out. Maybe what they could have done, in my personal opinion, is made the inner portion of the shoe black. Okay? I mean, I think that would have looked a lot better. Okay? Or again, if you want to get creative, they could have made this white. Okay? Like we have some shoes that actually have white interior. Okay? Again, to match the outer portion of the shoe all right and um, lastly guys if we actually go to the bottom of the shoe like I said is that off-white eggshell white you know not a lot of studded detail you know um, it's just pretty plain Jane okay now you got the Jordan symbol there again yeah, they could have broke this up if they wanted to made this black okay possibly made it gray to match the outer portion of the shoe okay or you know they could have got even more creative and made it red all right so that is pretty much the review of the uh, Air Jordan 3 um, Wool Edition. As I stated before, guys, it's not recommended to wear this now. Um, if you want to purchase these shoes, definitely check the Nike Sneakers app. Um, I'm not sure what the total current price of the shoe is right now, but again, they was retailing for $200. I would imagine at this point that they should be a lot cheaper. Hopefully, they're about, you know, within that $150 range or possibly, you know, a little bit cheaper and I'm just saying that given the age of the shoe and how long the shoe has actually been on the market so if you guys have any other comments or any questions definitely leave them down below in the comment section and a brother will make sure that he gets back to you ASAP all right and um, also let me let me know guys if this is going to be a cop or pass for you um, and just let me know like I said if this is something that uh, you would actually be interested in purchasing for yourself or for a child or for anybody else for that matter that's a huge Air Jordan fan alright also guys make sure that you like and share this content I would definitely appreciate that also if you enjoy the content make sure that you hit the subscribe button and lastly do not forget to tap that bell symbol so that you receive notifications when the DC show puts up new content so I appreciate you guys watching and listening and tuning in until the next time have a good one